So I wanted to actually take a picture of the Rosette Nebula uh, from a wide angle, right? So if you see the Rosette Nebula in a wide angle, it looks like a flower, like with like two arms. I saw other people taking the pictures. So I wanted to try with the red cat and see how the picture is going to come. So you can see the setup now. I'm not using the red cat as a guide scope. So talking about guide scope, uh, you can see the off axis guider here, right? And this off axis guider is enough, particularly on the refractor, when you wanted to guide uh, for a longer exposure, right? So, like in the beginning, when I was doing astrophotography, I was actually putting a guide scope and I did the guide scope for a while, and even on the refractor. And I started uh, wondering why we were not using off axis guider at all. If it was a Smith's Casa Green telescope, SCT with a longer focal length, using guide scope would be difficult. Uh, you may not find actually a guide star that quickly, uh, but uh, using the refractor, I don't think we need a, a separate guide scope on the top. Half axis guider will do pretty much that job. But once you figure out how to use the half axis guider correctly, I don't think you will ever go back to the guide scope. And if I show you the setup here, you have the camera, you have the filter wheel, the 11 mm spacer, half axis guider, and directly connected to the telescope. So half axis guider will have a tiny prism inside, and that prism is going to, it's a pick off prism. It actually takes the some light from the main imaging uh, train and send the light to the top, to the top of the camera, to the off-axis camera and produce the necessary stars for you in your guide camera and you can actually use the guide camera in the PHD2 to guiding. If you use the off-axis guider, how much ever is the focal length of your telescope, you pretty much have that big of a guide scope. That's what the advantage of off-axis guider is. You don't need to depend on a guide scope that is actually much smaller than your main scope. So your actually guiding is going to get a lot better if you are using the off-axis guider. You see this um, a tiny prism over here and the light from the main imaging train is going to go through uh, this prism and send the light inside. Uh, so many people ask like, how do I use it? How do I uh, focus it and all that stuff? So during the day when you connect and if you are looking at a telephone pole or whatever is the distant object that you can see with your main telescope, you can actually make sure, you know, you move your camera up and down a little bit to make sure that you are also seeing uh, with the same focus as your main telescope, main camera. When you match your focus of your main camera and your guide camera, in the night time when you focus for the stars, you are seeing the focus for the stars on the guide camera as well. So most guide cameras these days are coming with this kind of a profile where they look like a one and a quarter eyepiece kind of a profile. And these are uh, easier for you to find the necessary back focus. Uh, so this is ZWO 120mm mini guide camera, right? You can actually use these kind of profile cameras to connect to your off axis guider. So before when I was using, I was using like the Celestron off axis guider. I know it's the Celestron off axis guider has a much bigger prism but it actually the profile of the Celestron off axis guider is too big. So when it, since it is too big, it isn't enough 
a back focus for a lot of the setup. Like right now, all I have is this much of a, a room for me to add a guide camera. I don't have more than this room for my camera back focus. The ZWO off-axis guider is becoming extremely popular because of the low profile. I think QHY has a similar off-axis guider as well. So you can use either one of those. I'll show you guys the picture of the wide angle rosette nebula that I took using the Red Cat. I used actually the color camera, the 294MC, and I used the uh, filter slider, the Star Arizona filter slider, with a Optolong L enhanced filter. Thanks to all the new subscribers who joined the channel, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.